Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'll be talking about new AI technologies. So yesterday Microsoft presented a new AI technology called Muse. And it's probably an abbreviation of something. I don't really know what that stands for, but it doesn't really matter. It's called Muse. So this new Muse AI technology is going to be responsible for generated gameplay. That's one way to use it. Apparently there's going to be some other ways to use it too. They are still testing it and that kind of stuff. But yes, you heard that right. If the idea for that um, machine learning model is to learn games, learn from gameplays and gamers' input and that kind of stuff, and to be able to later create their own gameplay videos or gameplay, um, maybe even games in the future, who knows, right? Uh, this technology is at the very early stage of development. So I think that even developers don't really fully grasp uh, possibilities there. Um, you know, there may be different ways they could use it. And uh, just to show you something here, uh, this is how AI generated gameplay looks like, right? So just for the record, um, they, I think they used a number of games really to uh, um, learn, but this particular one, I think, uh, they used um, Bleeding Age from Ninja Theory. You know, the game that was released back in like 2017, 18, something like that. Uh, it wasn't very successful, but still, um, I think they used like, uh, you know, hundreds if not thousands of hours of gameplay um, to train the model and now that AI model is able to generate this this gameplay you see right now, right? Now, by the way, uh, you will find the link to the um, full article about it and these videos. Now, these videos are of, of a very low quality and I think that's one of the limitations of that AI model right now that it, it can generate like gameplay you know, at like 360p, something like that, right? So it's probably going to improve in the, in the future, but still, uh, this is how that gameplay looks like. Uh, there's like different scenarios over here, all based on the Bleeding Edge game. Uh, so I would imagine if a developer would like to test something with some other games, they would have it, they would have to train that particular model on other games. Um, maybe in the future, we will have one big model that knows all kinds of gameplays and then they could, developers could experiment with it. Now, the real question is, what the hell are they going to use it for, right? So one obvious scenario is to prototype games, right? So if, for example, if uh, a developer uh, would have uh, an idea for a game, they don't necessarily have to code it and create assets for it, right? Um, they could just as ask AI, you know, that particular model to create them a game with some, you know, particular ideas. So, for example, imagine you would like to create an RPG uh, with, um, you know, where you would traverse the woods or something. They would, you would combat some, you know, bad foxes or bears or whatever. I'm, I'm just making stuff up right now, obviously, right? I'm just saying that, you know, you could come up with any idea and um, that machine learning model would actually test it for you, would generate a gameplay with um, your ideas, basically, right? A flying bear or something, you know, flying over the woods or something, no problem there. Uh, the, you know, that machine learning um a model will probably generate it for you. Whether or not it's a valid concept for a game, that's another story, right? But this is the thing. This this particular tool could make uh, prototyping games very easy and faster to make, right? So, you know, prototyping and checking some ideas, right? Whether that would work, how that would actually affect gameplay and that kind of stuff. Machine learning can be actually useful for that, right? So that's one way to actually use that new technology. Another one um, is, uh, is the one that Phil Spencer actually uh, suggested and he was talking about game preservation as he you always do 
and um, he mentioned something about um, basically taking old games and making them work on new hardware, right? Whether that would be on the fly, whether that would be a technology that would kind of remade that game and and optimized for new hardware or something like that, I have no idea and looks like th this is just an idea basically i don't think that has been already tested and um it's but this is something that phil spencer spoke about right so i guess this is one of the ways they would like where they would like to use it and the thing about machine learning in general is that a lot of developers is right now is just testing and checking all kinds of ideas uh, how to use machine learning and um i think they are discovering like more and more ways to use uh, machine learning and i think like the end goal for this is to make games uh, faster better and cheaper right i think that's what it's all about and i don't like obviously there's been some obviously comments suggesting that ai will take over the world of gaming and you know nobody will need developers anymore i don't think that's going to happen ever um, because machine learning is not really creative it's you can suggest ideas for a uh, machine learning to test but um, computers in general are not creative i mean not not yet at least who knows what's going to happen in the future uh, but um, you know that's why it's actually machine learning kind of technology rather than a few full ai artificial intelligence it's not it's that's why um, people call it ai but i I rather use uh, I like to use machine learning because that's what it's uh, that's what it's all about and um, so you will still you will still we will still need people to um, you know come up with ideas and you know make things work and that kind of stuff and machine learning is just one of the tools that these developers will use to make uh, games uh, easier cheaper and maybe even then better who knows right uh, like I said, machine learning is still being tested and, you know, the, there's, they will, developers will probably find new ways to use it in the future. But right now, looking at it, I'm, um, I, I'm thinking that it's just a tool for developers right now. That's nothing really to be, get too excited about when it comes to, like, us gamers. Uh, machine learning right now is being used for auto HDR on Xbox Series X or uh, all kinds of uh, different uh, uh, upscaling techniques uh, uh, on PlayStation and NVIDIA and AMD and uh, with FSR for now and Intel. Uh, sadly, Xbox Series X don't have any machine learning based uh, upscaling capabilities. I mean, it has capabilities, but nobody uses it, right? you know imagine that and that's another thing right about new technologies like we all get too excited sometimes about these new technologies because showing an idea for for technology and how it can be used and then uh, developers actually using it it's a totally different story right like too many times i've seen technologies that were presented and developers never used it and they just died not developers it, it, these technologies sometimes uh, these technologies make return after like 10 15 years right so who knows um, but anyway it's an interesting technology nevertheless so i'll be f uh, uh, obviously um following it and um i will follow up on it later probably see how that goes and see what uh, this brings to the table really for us gamers and developers as well so anyway guys that's the video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about it hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next one take care